Hey folks, it is Chris Crazy House here for some more Chris Crazy commentary. I'm going to be talking a little bit about the new Velma show that is on HBO Max, okay? And just giving you my opinions after seeing the very first episode and some of the other commentaries that I've heard on the show for people who have watched the rest of it. That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Before I get to that, let me just say, I am working very hard on a brand new naturally cute coloring book that will probably be out next month sometime during Black History Month so you'll keep your eyes out for that. I will definitely be making announcements uh, as time goes on to let you know where we are. We're getting that book done. So you know I I'm, I'm looking forward for it to come out and I hope you folks will start getting looking forward to it. I'll be doing some more updates on it on this channel so make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to get more information about the new naturally cute coloring book if you want to get that book and also my other books that are already on sale you can go to my online store and pick up my coloring books there whether it be my naturally cute series there are already three volumes there that are available or you can get my Chris Crazy House coloring book, or you can get my new Cute Little Monsters coloring book as well. So all that stuff is available on my own online store, along with my comic books and posters and stickers. And you can also pick up my coloring books on Amazon.com, okay? I am also currently working on an animation character that you will be able to download and use for your own 2D animation or if you're making a 2D game that includes uh, a mech suit or a robot suit or whatever and you'll be able to get that if you become a $10 tier member on Patreon okay so for those who want animation and animation uh, art for animation you can get that all on my Patreon okay and here's just like a little preview of the character. It just it still needs to be colored in. Once the color is done, I'll probably start adding some animations to him, but I'll also provide all of the parts as well as the, the main file for those who want to use this character for themselves. But all you have to do is subscribe and become a Patreon of Chris Crazy House, okay? So now that I've gotten all that out of my system let's sit here and talk about the new Velma show that is coming on HBO Max or it has premiered already on HBO Max so for those who don't know they have created a it's kind of like an origin show for the character of Velma for those who remember Velma from the Scooby-Doo cartoon that the, the character little short dumpy girl with the glasses and they're doing this is supposed to be like an origin story for Velma and how her and her friends started solving mysteries or whatever that's that was the basic premise but this show is also meant to be more adult so that you know when they have a crime there's real murders going on in, in the town that these kids have to solve the, the, the murder there is also some nudity a lot of very suggestive language even little bits of profanity here and there so it's not your kids scooby-doo cartoon okay this is not the cartoon that we all grew up with so let's get that out of the way and, and let me let me preface the rest of the video by saying this this is I've seen so many like YouTube commentators and people who are on that whole anti-woke Thing, you know like how they're they're just against any type of content that they consider woke so if it has a, a character of color or a, a female character or just someone that they don't deem that should be in that lead role they will automatically say that it's a woke concept and they don't like it that's not what this video is I just wanted to talk about the series itself and my opinions after seeing the very first episode okay so I don't want to seem like I'm jumping on a bandwagon or just kind of going along the 
to get along with that crowd, okay? Because I, I know a lot of them, they, while, while there's some genuine, genuine reviews out there by people like that, there's also a lot of, it's hard to trust a lot of them because they do have an agenda for their channel. They're just trying to gin up any type of outrage so they can get people to come to their channel. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not, they, they don't really care what this series is. You know, it's, it's enough that they can pull more viewers in for their YouTube channel. Okay, and that's not what I want to do here. That's why I, I've made sure to move away from that type of content because I didn't want to get mixed in with those types of people. But when I see something that's kind of off or weird when it comes to the mainstream media content, I have to say something about it and I have to give my perspective based on someone who's actually worked in this field, okay? So as far as this new Velma series goes, what people will, will notice off the bat is that Velma is not white in this one. They've made her Indian, just like the, the actress that's doing the voice. So the comedian and actress Mindy was it is it Karen or I can't remember what her last name is Carlin or whatever I, I remember that show she did called Mindy I never watched it my wife watched it but I, I, I remember her from that Mindy Kaling okay I, I got her, her name right now so she is doing the voice of Velma so they made Velma Indian like her and I don't know if Mindy maybe sees herself or saw herself in Velma but that's what it seems like. Basically, it is Mindy pretending to be Velma, almost like cosplaying as the character of Velma. It's like, it's a lot of adult jokes that you might hear or very sarcastic jokes that you might hear from Mindy Kaling, a lot of mean-spirited jokes about the people around her, something that you might hear from the comedian Mindy Kaling. And I understand that this is a show for adults but how it comes off to me all together is like, it feels like this was an original IP. Like it feels like maybe even Mindy Kaling, maybe she came up with a, a concept for a show that was like a, a, a girl solving mysteries or, you know, uh, kind of maybe a parody of the old Scooby-Doo shows. And then someone had the bright idea of saying, hey, why don't we just actually make this a Scooby-Doo show. Let's grab the actual Scooby-Doo characters and imprint them onto this new original IP. Because the this show resembles nothing of what Scooby-Doo was, is, or ever, you know, was conceptualized to be. Okay? It doesn't even resemble any of those other knockoff uh, teenager solving mystery shows that used to exist back in like the 70s and 80s. Okay? So, don't expect to... You don't even see Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo's not even on the show for what people have told me. Like, I, I only watched the first episode, and I, I assumed that they were going to introduce him later. But from what people tell me, watching the whole, uh, most of the season, he he's not going to show up. It's just about the, the four teenagers, which, you know, makes no sense. And this is the, the issue that I have, because there are people who are, I guess, trying to push back and say like you know why why are there grown men or why are there adult males upset about a scooby-doo cartoon but this is not a scooby-doo cartoon no scooby-doo exists on this show and even the characters from scooby-doo that are in there it's very obvious they don't act or appear like the characters from scooby-doo they're they're like those characters in name only okay like fred is He's just a, a, a narcissistic jerk. They got, I guess he's supposed to be Shaggy, but they've made him black and they use his real name and he's not a pothead or whatever, or, you know, they're kind of making a joke. The fact that everyone, I guess, thought Shaggy was a pothead, but he's not. And then you have Daphne, who's supposed to be, I didn't realize this, but the character is supposed to be Asian and she has two lesbian parents or whatever. And just, just, like I said, this, this doesn't resemble Scooby-Doo whatsoever. And even, you know, what I've seen, some of the scene where Daphne and Velma have a lesbian kiss and everything else, it, it just doesn't resemble Scooby-Doo whatsoever. So, once again, 
It feels like to me they took an original idea that someone wrote, some writer wrote, and they knew that that original idea probably would not get any attention or it would not be as popular unless they imprinted a popular IP on top of it. I've seen so many of these types of ideas lately, like where if you go back to looking at something like Thundercats Roar, that seemed like that was supposed to be an original idea too. They just decided to put the Thundercats on top of it because that's the only way they could get people to watch the show. But to be honest, I'd rather you almost just go ahead and do the original idea that you had rather than messing with Scooby-Doo. Like let Scooby-Doo be its own thing. I mean, for God's sakes, it's one of the oldest cartoons or one of the oldest animated IPs out there. Why not just let that stand on its own and create something different if that's what you really wanted to do. And you see what I'm saying? Rather than going ahead and doing this, you could have you could have done something very smart and witty by saying, okay, this is kind of like a parody of Scooby-Doo or those mystery solving kids shows. You see what I'm saying? Like, like think about Venture Bros. Venture Bros was kind of a parody of classic action adventure Hanna-Barbera cartoons like Johnny Quest. That's what Venture Bros was, and they, and they they did a great job kind of parody, parodying Johnny Quest and creating something of their own, and it was a great show. It was a funny show, but with this, they decided to just go ahead and try to imprint the Scooby-Doo IP on top of whatever this was, and it doesn't work. There's a lot of jokes in there that don't really go forward and it got to the point where I was watching the episode where I would be like okay can we move the the story and the plot line forward without having a joke every few seconds like the like these jokes are not funny and and like the little gags that they have or the little sarcastic comments like can we have a a line of dialogue between two people without that you see what I'm saying like I, I was getting tired of it I was getting tired of the the, sar the sarcasm because it wasn't hitting right or it was just in poor taste and it made all the characters unlikable to the point where none of them had any charm it was just these are all terrible people that no one wants to be around and um, I'm tired of it already and this is only the first episode that's why I didn't continue to watch anymore you see what I'm saying I, it, it made me not want to come back from where I didn't even care about the the main quote unquote plot of the show of trying to solve this murder I didn't care about that because that I was too annoyed by the, the characters and their dialogue. So you see what I'm saying? Like we have to be, if we're gonna write this type of stuff, we need to be more, be more creative in that field and understand what we're putting out there. So in that regard, I can understand the crowd out there that is very negative against the show. And apparently there's lots of people who don't like it. I've heard it's been green lit for another season. We'll see how that goes. Cause I know that that's the problem I also have with the anti SJW, uh, anti woke crowd is they claim they don't like something, but they'll all watch it anyway and still give it the same ratings that a show that everyone likes would get. And that's the problem, you see. So if I can give a positive of the show, I actually do like the art and animation style of it. I think that's a good art and animation style that could have been used for a better show with better content. So this is nothing against the animators or those who worked on the show. I think you guys did a fantastic job. And, you know, I feel bad for you that you got to work on a show that's so controversial because, you know, most artists and animators want to work on something that's at least successful for the right reasons. They don't want to work on something that people hate watch or people talk bad things about you don't want to be remembered for that so you know i feel sorry for them but as far as technically the show looks great and i think that that could have been done it would have been so much better if they just did an original idea and let it let it stand up on its own merit rather than putting this existing ip of scooby-doo on top of it and you know besmir besmirching the memory of scooby-doo and not keeping towards the the idea that Scooby-Doo was trying to put out there and basically messing up that IP along with whatever this was supposed to be. So you folks let me know how you feel about it if you watched the first episode like I did or if you watched most of the series so far. 
Let me know what you think about it in the comments section. I'd very much like to hear your opinions. Anyway, Chris Crazy House, signing out. Peace.